my YouTube friends. I'm uh, coming back at you. Uh, we're going to do a follow-up on some of the other splits I have here and uh, see what kind of condition they're in and what we need to go forward with. Um, i like to, again, thank everyone for subscribing and liking and commenting. Please continue to do that. Any new subscribers, I uh, thank you for subscribing and uh, I appreciate everyone involved in helping me with my channel and build my channel. I hope I can share some experiences with you that can uh, help you in your beekeeping adventures. This, uh, this split here is roughly about three weeks old. I just want to confirm that there's a queen. This was a five frame split that I took honey and eggs and pollen and made a complete five frame split from it. From a eight frame box that I had, a double eight. I took five frames from that with everything they needed and I put it in this five frame here and we're going to see what we got going on. See this, this outside frame here, got a lot of pollen and some honey. Now, some of this was from the original split. You see they have a, a queen cup. right there and it has larvae in it I don't know if that's good enough for you guys to see it or not so that can that can mean a couple things it could mean that they made a queen and something happened to her and she came back to lay eggs and something happened to her and uh, so they're pulling out another queen cell or they're crowded And there's a lot of bees in this little five frame box here, so <clears throat> it looks like the queen was here a few days ago, pretty obvious, but you, there's another queen cell on the side there. And there's a lot of larva there. and young eggs as well. There's another queen cell. And you see the bee going down in it, feeding uh, feeding it, feeding, putting royal jelly in there for the larva. You can see some 
young larva up here at the top. So we need to uh, we need to look for a queen if we can find her. Yeah, I see more larva in here as well on this side of the frame. <laughs> Now I've got a bo uh, another box over here that uh, is queenless, so I may take those. I may take that one with the queen cell on it and put it in that other box, so they could make them a queen. Okay, the queen's in here, and how I know that without seeing her is, I hope you can see it there, there is one day old eggs right there, one day old. So that means she was on this frame laying two days. So... She's doing rather well. There's a lot of eggs and larvae on this side of the frame as well. You can see some of the older larvae there in the center. Okay, so that previous frame with the queen cell on it. We'll say I'm gonna I know where it's at it's this other frame here I'm gonna move it to the out move it here to the outside so I remember which one it is because that frame I'm gonna take and put in another box at this point I really don't need to look for the queen any further. What I'm going to do what I'm going to do is because the other box I'm going to put this in I don't want the there's plenty of bees in it and I don't want to you know start a bunch of fighting or whatever so I'm going to brush all the bees off of this frame real easy and uh, take this frame and put it in that other box smoke them a little bit try to run them off of it
better not blow this one. Just set it down right there. Yeah. If I do anything else, Daniel, I'll holler at you. Okay, so I took that frame over and put it in another hive that I know was queenless. So, and these guys are in uh, pretty packed in here, and they're in swarm mode, kind of. There are, you know, had some young queen cells partially drawn out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give them some more room by adding another box. foundation that was partially pulled out already so I'll put it down here that'll give the queen some room to lay and I'm gonna put the box on it okay and then so sometimes I'll, I'll do at least one frame but uh, moving it up to the upper box. And, uh, this is another frame that has the queen cell on it. So I'm going to leave it in here just so I know where it's at. I'm going to put it right here. And then when I further investigate some of my other boxes, if if I find, because it's it's a small queen cell, I still got a few more days before I have to, you know, give them a, a little more time to pull it out, and I'll be okay there. And uh, but I don't know where a queen cell's at when I get into some of my other boxes, and they could possibly be queenless, and then I'll have a queen cell that's got a head start on it that. I can move, okay? And glad you stopped by to watch our videos. Like, subscribe. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.